earlier this month, Samaritan's Purse, a relief and development organization that has helped countless people around the world by providing aid and relief, opened a field hospital in Iraq just kilometers from Mosul and where much of the fighting and bloodshed has taken place as ISIS continues to ravage that land. We are joined by John Clayton from Samaritan's Purse Canada. He just returned from Iraq and is joining us live from Samaritan's Purse Canada's head office in Calgary. Welcome, John. It's good to be with you today. Thank you very much for your interest in this. Tell us why it was so important for Samaritan's Purse to open up this hospital in Iraq during this time. Well, uh, first of all, and uh, Franklin alluded to this in the, in the clip, uh, this was at the invitation of both the Iraq government and uh, the World Health Organization and the United Nations. Uh, this is a very uh, demanding uh, deployment uh, into a very difficult situation and there's only a few uh, organizations that have the capacity and the ability to be able to move into something like this. This is something that we've been working on very deliberately over the last two years to build up these capacities and uh, when this request came to us uh, the leadership decided this was something that we could take on. And uh, I gather you've just come back from Mosul yourself. Uh, tell us what that was like. Well, I was there uh, um, <clears throat> over a month ago now, and it was uh, right before Christmas, and it was actually right at the time that this request was being made of Samaritan's Purse. So I had the opportunity to visit the community where this field hospital is actually deployed. Uh, I got the opportunity to tour around the region uh, to the south and also around all the, uh, all the way around the top of uh, Mosul uh, to the uh, west also. Uh, but this uh, particular situation, uh, there's over 160,000 people that have been displaced out of Mosul. And uh, due to the act of combat, uh, there are no medical facilities or very limited medical facilities for people that are uh, injured uh, as a result of the actions that are taking place to liberate Mosul. So uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, field hospital already, since it opened, I think it was on January uh, 9th uh, when the first uh, patients were received, um, they've, received hundreds, they've received hundreds of patients and done uh, countless um, major surgeries and uh, life-saving operations for people that are uh, affected by this conflict. John, you touched on it. You, you know, hundreds of thousands of people have been displaced. You know, we hear of uh, just relics, how this, this community has totally been destroyed. Tell me what it was like to be there and to see this community that's been destroyed, these people who are just looking for hope. What was that like? Yeah. Well, a lot of the communities that we visited when we were, uh, when we were uh, touring the area were abandoned. Mm -hmm. So uh, this, uh, this community where the field hospital is, is a former Christian community. It's a Christian community with uh, Orthodox and Catholic uh, churches there that date back, uh, uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years. Uh, it, just uh, very sad to see the destruction, to see the uh, ISIS uh, uh, slogans, and uh, to see how uh, Christian uh, communities were erased. I uh, saw a jackhammer uh, discarded at the rear of a, of a church building that had been used to remove anything that had any semblance of Christian message, uh, images, the cross, uh, all of this, and then spray paint everywhere, uh, defaced uh, uh, buildings and structures. So uh, it's just a, a very, very sad place. I had opportunity to sit with people that were displaced uh, to uh, talk with them and to understand a little bit about their, what they've gone through. And uh, this, this whole situation is by no means over. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to continue on for, uh, for, for, for the foreseeable future and uh, really an unknown long term. Uh, so uh, this is a great opportunity for us as Christians, as Franklin again talked about, as our identity is Samaritan's Purse, uh, to uh, be on that road, uh, to be on that uh, journey uh, to intersect in people's lives that are uh, just desperate for medical attention and, and uh, they would die otherwise. Uh, John, I was very interested by um, some of the pictures you sent back from your trip. And there's one that really struck me, which is this, uh, the picture of a of a shoe, a woman's shoe discarded in a, in a, in a kind of sea of bullets. Um, yeah. That's behind the lines. You were on the front line. What, what is it like going back and trying to pick up the pieces? <clears throat> well, there, there's a lot of challenges that people face. Uh, that uh, particular image that you saw was from a Yazidi community uh, just uh, in the town of Sinjar, which is right close to that mountain uh, where the Yazidi people fled and uh, were trying to escape from ISIS uh, as uh, the ISIS expansion took place uh, in, uh, I believe it was in August of 2014, so uh, over two years ago. Uh, it's just a, 
uh, uh, terribly traumatic. Uh, we, we've had the privilege, in addition to our medical work, to be working in northern Iraq for the last two years with the Yazidi people, uh, operating a community center that's uh, providing psychosocial uh, and uh, just restore uh, psychosocial support and just restoring the dignity of the, the Yazidi people. It's been a real honor to do that. Um, uh, but all across uh, uh, northern Iraq, uh, in the Kurdistan regions, and now uh, around Mosul, uh, to be involved uh, in all of these different actions as Christians, uh, as you see this uh, confluence of uh, Sunni and Shia Islamic forces, to be there as Christians, it's just such an incredible honor for us to be engaged, to be engaged as Christians with our Yazidi friends, uh, to be engaged with these other minority groups that have been oppressed and abused, uh, it's, uh, it, 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 it's just an honor to serve. Well, it's an honor to talk to you, John, and thank you again for your time. Well, uh, thank you. I just, uh, you know, w one of the things that uh, we're really making a focus this, uh, in terms of this deployment uh, is looking for Canadians that are interested in serving medical professionals uh, that uh, have an interest uh, in this uh, type of ministry. Uh, we're looking for people who can work uh, as, uh, that work currently as emergency room uh, physicians, uh, trauma physicians, nurses, uh, anesthesiologists, uh, people that do uh, lab technical work, uh, if they go to our website, SamaritansPurse.ca, there is a, an option to uh, connect uh, for medical personal that, personnel that are interested in serving. And I just point people to that and ask that people would uh, consider and uh, pass this message around that there's opportunities to serve, to be that good Samaritan as a medical professional, as a responder working in Mosul right now. That's great. Not just speaking of it, but actually getting on the ground and actually doing something. Thanks again, John. Thank you.